Checking out K-Pot, Korean barbecue, and hot pot. All you can eat, restaurant. It was very busy on a Tuesday night. We had to wait for half an hour for a table. Having a few drinks at the bar, waiting for a table to be available. It's a pretty big restaurant with lots of seating. Finally got our table and this is their menu. All you can eat dinner for $29, Monday through Friday. $5 more a person for barbecue and hot pot combo. They have lots of different items to choose from on their menu. Trying to put my dipping sauce together. I'll probably do one hot and one sweet. We have ordered three different hot pot. This one is Tom Yum flavor. This one is spicy. Mine was a K-Pot special. It looks like a soy base with a meat broth. Our first mix item has arrived. There's corn, squid, mushroom, lotus root, tofu skin, soft tofu, oh, three different type of mushroom. And this is our meat entree. We have rolled up pork belly, two order of steaks, marinated tuna, and we also got a plate of short ribs. And we only order one greens, that's watercress. Everything looks very good. Had to turn the heat up on my pot, so I'll probably leave it on three in the middle. And now we're grilling some meat on the grill. I had to disable all the audio. Wish you guys could hear the meat sizzling and the aroma. And it smells awesome. The short ribs look almost done. And that's the pork belly. Trying out a piece of fish cake. Trying out my new S22 Ultra. I forgot to play around with the setting. Using the front camera was a little bit blurry. Probably have to try a different setting. Checking out my combination of sauce. On the left is a soy with hot oil. And on the right was a dark sweet sauce with some scallions and a pepper ring and also sesame seed. Dipping the pork belly in the hot oil sauce. A little bit salty, a little bit spicy. It was very good. This is the grilled pork belly. It looks very delicious. Trying a piece of short rib. Waiting for the steak to be done. I like my steak on the medium side. Probably have to wait a little bit longer. Of course, you have to use the scissor to cut it all up. All the combination that arrived to our table was very good. The aroma of the K-Pot soup, squid, dumpling, mushroom, and watercress in my soup bowl. Dipping it in the hot oil. Wow, it was very good. Lots of aroma coming from the soup. We didn't keep an eye on the steak. Now it's medium well. This is the marinated tuna cube. We'll probably throw that on the grill. Found a piece of medium beef. It was pretty tender and very juicy. And the dumpling, dip in a sesame sauce. This was our waitress, very friendly. 
and great service. We didn't keep an eye on the tuna. It was sitting on the grill too long, so it's probably dried out. The cucumber and kimchi side dish was very crunchy. We had ordered a second round of meat slices and a little bit more greens. At this point, I was getting a little full, maybe a little bit of break. I can still keep going and finish this big bowl of soup. Everything was great at the K-Pot Korean Barbecue. Adding some tofu skin. Adding lots of item to my soup. Probably have to let it sit in a bowl for a few minutes to cook. We had ordered lots of food. It was great coming to this place, all you can eat. Now it's time for a check. It was also a birthday celebration at the table behind us. Thanks for joining me at K-Pot. Everything was very good. We ended up eating everything that came to our table. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos. And I'll see you next time.